Hey, everybody. I just wanted to come and say Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, I hope you're all enjoying your holiday season, that you're loving just to be around friends and family. I'm calling right now from Griffith. I'm spending family time and Christmas with um, a group of friends that I met up in Whistler that are now my Australian family called the Dallas. And so I'm just sitting out by the pool right now. It's um, so hot so I'm just getting some nice shade in the in the pool area over underneath this canopy here and I just wanted to come to you guys today to share with you about some really fun Christmas tips for sticking to the system and sticking to the program over the holiday season. So many of you guys just saw my um, picture of my smoothie bowl that I made with bananas. I did a half a banana. I did um, a handful of some sliced almonds. Um, I did also um, four cherries and I cut them up and I just made it fun on the top of that really, really thick shake, which is the video that I posted just above this video. Um, you'll see Gabby just making a very thick shake. So I was going to, um, um, do a, also a pancake video for you guys because I know that as the seasons are coming, as the holiday season is coming, and as we have these events in our life, or sometimes we just get really sick of just doing a shake in the morning. We want something to chew on or we want something to cook because we like to cook. I just wanted to um, give you my quick recipe for pancakes. So um, if you wanted to have this in the morning or something for Christmas with your family and they're having pancakes and you want to do pancakes so that you can feel included, then this is something for you. Or if you just want to mix things up a little bit. So what you do is you take two scoops of the vanilla protein powder. If you want to do chocolate pancakes, that's fine. You can use the chocolate. You can use the strawberry and do strawberry pancakes. But for me in this instance, I had a bunch of blueberries that needed to be used. So I did two scoops of the vanilla powder. I mixed it in with one egg. And then I had in my fridge, I really like um, butternut or buttermilk pancakes. And so I had in my fridge, um, it was like a liquid probiotic. It was kind of like a plain, um, like no flavored uh, yogurt that was sort of like a liquid here. In Australia, it's very, very high. Um, I've got little ants running all over my feet. Um, it was very, very high in probiotics. So what I did is I just mixed that in. If you guys want, you can use almond milk, you could use uh, regular milk, whatever you have on hand, or even if you have a little yogurt, you could do a tablespoon of yogurt to have a little bit of that sour flavor of the buttermilk, um, and then some regular milk or whatever you want to do. So just use your liquid of choice. Um, I do suggest using something other than water just for these pancakes for flavor wise. Now, because the vanilla is already flavored, it has cinnamon in it, it makes it incredibly like yummy pancake. So what you do is you just mix up your protein powder, your egg, and just enough liquid to make it sort of like you want a very thick, um, kind of almost like sticky gooey consistency and it will it will really really get thick now if you want your pancakes thinner just do it to your own taste um, so you can just thin that out with whatever liquid you're using and then what I did is I threw in a handful of blueberries and uh, and then I just heated up my pan on medium heat now the trick here is you want to put a lid over top of the um, pancake as it's cooking so that's we'll trap the heat in there because when you have a thick batter sometimes <clears throat> the inside doesn't get cooked all the way through I never had this problem with my pancakes but I just turned the heat on low. Um, these ants are really getting over my feet, so I'm just gonna move. I turned the heat on low, and then um, I just put the lid over top of it, and as soon as the pancake gets brown on the bottom, you just wanna flip it over, put the lid back on, and you are good to go. So um, that is my pancake recipe. Um, for my toppings at the time, I had these beautiful passion fruit um, fruits that I was using, and uh, and so I use that instead of a syrup. So in this case, you could um, you could use whatever kind of fruit that you would like, and just put it on top, and uh, or a little bit of peanut butter, or something to give you some protein and to give you some nice flavors. I'm gonna move again because the shadows are terrible here. Um, and then yeah, so that is my little quick trick for doing the protein pancakes. Now we when you're also um, you know, with everybody and everyone's celebrating and they all have fancy drinks and you're like, oh, you know, I, I don't really want to have wine and I don't really want to drink pop because it's full of sugar and everybody's enjoying these fancy drinks. My trick, okay, my trick is adding, um, you're going to add a uh, soda water. So you're going to take soda water, you're going to put some fresh ice in there, maybe a squeeze of lemon or a squeeze of lime, and you're going to put one or two scoops, depending on your flavor taste, of the 
um, Cleanse for Life powder, or you're going to do 120 mils of the Cleanse for Life liquid, and it's that's two shots. So you're going to add two shots of liquid of the Cleanse for Life into your sparkling water, and you're going to make a sparkling drink, which is really going to help your digestive system. It's going to help flush your toxins out of your body while you're enjoying all of your Christmas ingredients and, and uh, the cheeses and the chocolates and all of that stuff that's coming into your life. That's really, really going to help you. Um, and then my third trick is doing smoothie bowls. So as you guys saw before, I posted my smoothie bowl. I also posted the video of Gabby making a very, very, very thick shake. Um, so you're going to use that as your base, and you can use any flavor you like. And then I'm going to include um, a list of ingredients that you can add to your shake. Now, you don't want to add four handfuls of nuts on the top of that because that's going to be really, really high in fat. You want to just decorate the top of it so it looks fun. It gives you something to do and makes you feel like you're cooking something or making something special for me. I took a half a banana. I sliced that really, really thin. I put that over top of my smoothie bowl in a fun um, pattern. I put a little bit of the sliced almonds there and then a couple of the cherries that were cut in half and sort of plop that through. And that was just perfect for me. I just had my dinner. It is probably like 34, 5, 38 degrees here in Australia. It's so, so hot. I'm just about ready to go jump in the pool. But that was a perfect meal option for me um, as the holiday season is coming. And, you know, I can get that meal in and I know that I've got my nutrients for the day. So hopefully this video helps you out. Um, I'm going to um, start a little fun competition over the holidays who can have the most decorative and the most beautiful smoothie bowl um, from Isogenic. So um, if you guys want to post your pictures down below, that would be so much fun and we can just encourage each other to keep on track in this next holiday season so bless you all i'm so so grateful to be able to start this new year together as a team for missions for life um, i'm so so excited for what this is going to do for your health and your wellness and as we're going on the isa body challenge if you have not gotten enrolled yet make sure you call up a friend a girlfriend or your husband or whoever it is to take your pictures of, of use for the ISA body challenge, get that enrolled. You guys will win $200 of free product. You're going to get an awesome Isogenics t-shirt to go with that. Um, it's like a workout top and, uh, and you're just being incredibly involved and incredibly surrounded with the most uplifting and encouraging people. So, um, yeah, I'm going to jump off now, but thank you guys so, so much for listening in. Merry Christmas, happy new year, and we will talk to y'all soon. Love you guys.